Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. I spent all of last video banking 99 crafting. I spent a lot of time mining sand. I had been farming a bunch of giant seaweed and I used super glass make to make it all into molten glass. So I have 99 banked and at this point, it's just a matter of using all of it up. But even more important than that, last video, Spook Dog got the bottomless bucket so I can finally now start doing herb runs, which I just have not been doing at all on the account because it's just waiting to get a bucket. So after a combined uh, total KC of like 80-ish, uh, there's bucket number two, but for me it's number one. We kind of like traded buckets. So she has mine and I have hers. Isn't that so cute? At the moment, according to the banked XP plugin, I have about 770k Herblore XP banked. So um, in the future, we'll see that go way, way up. But here's all the molten glass that I banked the last video, a hundred thousand of it. And as I was saying in the last video, I'm kind of always going to need AFK activities to do because I feel like I'm gonna run out of AFK activities before I max because really all I have left is like woodcutting, fishing, maybe mining. Um, my go-to AFK activity for the last month has just been fishing lobsters, going for the giant lobster, which I'm like 50 to 60 hours into, and I still don't have it yet. I'm thinking it might actually be because I never went back to get the angler's gloves, so I might need to go do fishing trawler to get those, but I'll put that off for a little bit while longer. Um, because now I have a new AFK activity, which I'm going to commit to. I will not do any more fishing or woodcutting or any other AFK stuff until I get 99 crafting. Probably. With that said though, it is time for me to AFK and this is the last time you're going to see the 100k molten glass probably ever again on the account. I'll be making them into light orbs and this is kind of good because there's a master clue step I think that requires you to use a light orb so I'll be able to do that clue step 100,000 times by the time I'm done with these. And that is minus one bank spot because it's just one of those cool collectible items that I'm going to put into my collectibles tab. Oh no, okay so it's an elite clue step that you need the light orbs for. Um, but there's a master clue step to craft one of these too. Oh no, I'm only a few hours into owning the bottomless bucket and I'm already too addicted to the herb runs and staying up way too late just to do this last herb run, which just screw. Well, 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 well. We have a game update today, so let me go ahead and show you. Maximum hit splats were added into the game so you can tell when you do your max hits. They're talking about making an item called Poison Dynamite, which will allow restricted accounts to not get combat XP but still kill monsters it looks like. And then other changes section. So there's a couple of UIM sort of changes here. If you're going somewhere but you open up your loon bag that used to stop you from moving but now you will continue moving. And then if you have stuff in the death bank like Vorkath or Hisporia for example, you'll be notified when you logged in. So hopefully that helps some UIMs. It says the message will gently remind you and I'm just imagining a message in all caps saying, DON'T FORGET YOUR Items. The click zone of one of the obstacles on the Apatol Agility course has now been expanded after I did my 2000 laps. Are you kidding me? I'm going on Reddit and Twitter to complain right now. Okay, but like I swear every time after I finish some kind of long grind, they always make an update to it that makes it slightly easier. Like for example, right here, uh, if you've unlocked the rowing boats north of Fossil Island, you can now get there directly from the camp and I kind of want to check that out. So let's... Let's go over there right now and see it. Previously, the best thing I could do was go to this option, which takes me up here, and then this to go out to sea. But now I guess you can go back and forth between the two. So if I try out row out to sea north of the island, that's going to take me directly here. No, you can't make changes to the game after I've already completed the content. I have a tip for you if you get a clue step that's on like the west side of the Dwarven Mines. Uh, if you bring the Disc of Returning with you, which you can buy from Diango by the way, when you get to the Mining Guild area, you can activate it to get here and then when you activate it again, instead of returning to where you came from, you'll be on the west side of the Dwarven Mine. And Saves you a little bit of time. All right, boys, I've been saving these up for a long time. We have a huge casket opening to do today. <laughs> there you go, loot from 40 caskets. Besides all the crafting and the herb runs and skilling and stuff, I want the main focus of this video to be doing Tob for the first time on the group Iron Man. Still trying to get some friends together for today, so it might actually end up being like a few more hours, but there's something we can do to prep at least. I'm finally going to have a use for one of my very, very many crystal weapon seeds. Heading on over to the singing bowl and let's make the crystal halberd because this is going to be a very important spec weapon to use for TOB. 
How many charges does it come with? We got 2,500, so I'm just gonna add some more charges into there. Yeah, I don't know what to do today because it's probably gonna be a few more hours. That's kind of the thing that sucks about top. You can't, I mean, you can technically solo it, but uh, most people can't solo it. So you kind of are reliant on waiting for other people to be available. I'm getting a bit anxious to like do some raids slash PVM stuff. So as you can see, I'm geared up for some chambers to do some solos while we wait to do some TOB. Got my main scouted with the raid here and I'm looking forward to this because I feel like my time raiding or doing uh, chambers was cut short because I got the deck so early. I got it at 61 KC and then I just had to leave and I, I've really been enjoying solos so let me get back to it. It's also my first raid using Rigor too so very much looking forward to trying this out and head phase at Ulm and I mean just the whole raid itself he used so much range as well. Oh my gosh Bofa and Rigor is just shredding oh my god there's a max hit too? Shredding through the shamans. Now let's watch the Bofa just shred through my... <laughs> Oh man, dude, this is such a nice combo. It's gonna be so fun raining. Technically, it would have been a back to back if we got a drop, but nope. Honestly, I should probably never do farm runs again and only do chambers because one raid gives me like two runs, two farm runs worth of herbs. Actually, better than doing herb runs, dude. We should be good to go raiding in like 30 minutes, so I've just been blowing glass, and I figured I should probably figure out my setup before we go in so we're not wasting time later. And uh, I know it's a lot of brews, but I barely have any TOB experience, and the experience that I do have is basically just taking the leech roll on my UIM. So there's a lot of different rolls I'm gonna have to learn eventually and it's it's just been a very very long time so it'll probably be at least a few raids until i'm comfortable with like just getting the basics down once again by the way just for reference when i did do it on my uim this was my setup and like look at all that inventory space being taken up previously and now it's just space for like more switches and food and supplies and stuff oh and i can actually bring the salve amulet because it just wasn't feasible for me to do on uim before i'm going to be going with the same kind of rotating group of friends that i went with on my uim for chambers and for tob so you probably know most of them already if you saw those videos and Spook did not want to come with the TOB when I asked her. Um, maybe she'll come in the future, but uh, she didn't want to come this time around, so. All right, we got 92 crafting from the Molten Glass. By the way, I did make a change, switching out the Barrow's Gloves for Ferocious Gloves instead, because I have the Void Gloves for my range setup, and then Mage doesn't really matter. The only thing to really make like old times is for Fam to die. Ah, uh, excuse me. No, it's more like he says he's dying and then just doesn't die. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know Fam's not gonna die when he's like, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Welcome back to Top Kid. Thanks for having me. It's not like you've been begging every single day. Oh. Ah, uh, oh, it happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, rough start. I the the group Iron Man can carry us through, though, I believe. At least now we won't have to drop 100k and oh, reorganize. Don't, don't speak too soon. <gasps> <gasps> No! What? Shit, it might be actually. Run! Early. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> sorry, I'm still learning. I only have the one salve amulet, so I should probably collect more later. I I didn't drop mine. Uh, I, I mean, I am kind of running low on food though, so maybe maybe for uh, next next run I should be sure. To Are you actually? It. As for the goal items I'd really like to get from TOB, like the main reason why I first came here is because I realized that when I do eventually go back to Slayer, I'm going to be doing a bunch of bossing and I may as well have a Vernick because that's just like a direct upgrade that I want to get eventually so I may as well get it sooner than later. And then it'd also be cool to get Justy because we have the Dins and because I have the Bofa. It'd be really fun if Spook was in like the full Justy and Dins and then tanking Bandos and I was just ranged DPSing. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun so it'd be nice to get Justy too. And of course the three weapons from TOB would be pretty sick too so I mean any drop would be nice. This was my first raid at TOB since doing it on the UIM, which was over a year and a half ago. I even went back in the clips to be sure. And it was really cool. It was like as soon as we got to Verzik and this phase started, the muscle memory just immediately kicked in. And it just feels very, very satisfying to still be able to do this. I mean, okay, technically I know we did the one entry mode top for the quest not too long ago, but I'm not going to count that. I am going to run around in mage because <laughs> I'm just going to mess everyone up. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Holy... Yay! We did it! We got to the end! <laughs> sorry, Wait, sorry had, that. Did that count as deaths for you guys? Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Triple kill. Oh, scuffed the equal stuffed. Okay. Oh! Oh! Purple oh. Three. Let's go! 
Yo. Say. Good luck, Puff. Say. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, I can deposit this into my bank. I never used that option before because you I am. I have an amazing title for a video. I'm ready. I'm ready. R R R R R. Were you a freaking seal? I'm a pirate. What piercing should I get, guys? Prince Albert. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. That was a big one. <laughs> Classic fam saying, I'm dead and not dying. Yeah, you can ticky, Zarpus. It's like you're really? under 10 HP. Yeah, you can like do a redemption ticky. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> No, oh, wait. Wait. Oh, no, 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 Minus 100k. At least I'm not playing a UIM, so I don't have to spend freaking 15 minutes getting all my stuff back. That's just it. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm fucking good at this game. Oh. Two down. Their first death, no big deal. What the? Uh, <laughs> second. Why did I open my mouth? I just focus more on the prayers than anything. I don't want to die because I've, I've seen it happen to people before where they die at the Nilo boss, even though it's like the easiest part of the raid. No. Imagine dying at Nilo's. <laughs> that doesn't happen. What the? How did that bounce? I'm dead. That's the secret to you not dying. Just say I'm dead and you won't die. Oh, oh my god, no. It's so I had no bruise. That was so rough. Well, I feel like it was a really long day, but we only got three KC. But that's okay. We'll be going back for more in the future. But it was so fun. It was like such a throwback because it's been so long since I've done TOB and it's starting to come back. I mean, a lot of this stuff just came back immediately. I just got to remember to put on the cell for bloat, but yeah, I'm going to do all the runs and stuff and probably just craft for the rest of the night. Well, so far I've spent the whole day crafting and doing my farm runs and birdhouse runs and uh, we're getting 91 hunter here. I'll probably continue to do crafting uh for a little while longer today, at least to get the crafting level. And there's 90, oh, 93 crafting. I don't know why I thought it was 92. Yay. It's probably because I just got 91 hunter, so I just had like 91 stuck in my head. Oh my God, dude, yes, no way. I've actually never done a raid before where I hide the chat and actually get a purple. So this is exciting for me, it's a first. Let's see what we got. Okay, well. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Now Spook has rigor, that's so, that's so freaking sick, yes. What was that, uh, 65 KC, nice dude, that's so cool, that's so good, that's so freaking good. 1.67 million points in my name. I am so sorry, Iron Man, you were trying to get decks, that's, that's so unfair. <laughs> I should have only gotten two drops in this KC, but I'm at four. Um, yeah, I'll go put that in the group storage for Spook. Look, while well, my main scouting raid's over there, I'm not wasting any XP, I'm still getting my crafting gains in. I found a pretty juicy raid, and it has Vasa, which I haven't done yet on this account, well not in solos at least, uh, but because I have Bofa now, I should be able to do it in a solo. Typically, you would need a team of Tebos and Bofas to get past the Vasa room, and I don't think you can solo the room with the blowpipe. I'm pretty sure you need at least a Bofa. But this boss room did end up being pretty rough. I have done it plenty of times in team raids. I've just never soloed it before because I haven't had a Bofa before. I could have just gotten unlucky or maybe I just suck because it's my first time doing Vasa solo and I just need to do it more to get better because Bofa and Rigor I would think should be perfectly fine here. Maybe bringing Venge could be the play too but then I'd have to sacrifice two more inventory spots for runes or one more inventory spot if I get that rune pouch extension from Raids 3. Going forward at least until I really get Vasa down I think I'll only do Vasa in solos if it's a non-supply intensive raid like this one because uh, you can see like really the only other room you take damage from this raid is Tecton. Hello, it is now me from the future because these clips were recorded weeks ago and I've done some bosses since this was recorded and I've discovered the trick is I need to use an overload. And you could see by the time I had finished up this room I had gone through a lot of supplies. And do we get the back to back? Never lucky except I'm like always lucky a lot of time. <laughs> nice, I'm elite. Uh, the boys are about ready for top, so in just a bit, we're gonna head back on over to raids to. <gasps> oh you, my god. Gaming. One mil of loot. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're lucky, you're lucky. Mine's 100k. Are okay. we gonna wait till yellows? Or... Oh, no, okay. Yeah, you could wait till you. Okay. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Fucking food and beer right at the door for us. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's mine from the last raid. <laughs> we got the dwarf right before we went in, so it's gonna stay there for like a few hours. Ooh. Minus 100k. Well, that's another day of Tob completed, or uh, a few Tobs completed today. Just doing my farm run and stuff, and I was thinking about how I have the Iasaur seed planted, which is the one that makes your crops less likely to die, and I was thinking about that, and I feel like it really only makes sense to plant the limpers when I have the Iasaur planted, otherwise I'm kind of just wasting them, because I only use regular compost, since you can just very easily buy the compost. I don't think it's worth wasting ultra compost on it, but because of the Iasaur seed being planted, um, my limpers have rarely been dying. I feel like it's just nice for doing contracts in general because a lot of the stuff you can't or won't pay for on an Iron Man. So it just makes it a lot more likely that your stuff is gonna grow. For each of the different types of herb seeds that I have, I'm probably gonna stop using them and leave like maybe 20-ish left over. So that way if I do get farm contracts that require those, I'll still have a few left over to use for the future. So for example, the last couple days I've been planting a bunch of snapdragons and I'm not gonna plant any more except for farming contracts. I was kind of thinking it might be fun to do a thing where like all the seeds I get from contracts, I just dump into the seed vault and then like way in the future when I run out of a certain seed that I need, I'll look in there and we could take a look at all the seeds I've collected. You know, I didn't think I'd end up spending this much time crafting. I mean, you can see I spent like eight hours today crafting because um, it just, I don't know, it takes a while to find a top team and then I just edit videos and get distracted or I'll be scouting raids on my main and just AFKing on this account and crafting XP is adding up very, very quickly, a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Nah, 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 I'm not sure yet. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. <laughs> Wait, was that a ticky? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've never done that. Yeah, I just guessed nine. the timing. For the webs at Verzik, because I don't know how to run around in melee yet, uh, I just use the trident while I run around the room. I just wanted to show how sick the trident is. Look at it going off here. One K. Hey, purple. My oh. name. Oh shit. Oh my MVP. Hell yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Nice. Hey. Nice. Hey. nice. The Take daily. That. You I stole it from me, man. <laughs> you. <laughs> you asshole. No, I don't deserve it yet. It's okay. At the maiden room, she sends out crabs when she reaches 70%, 50%, and 30% health. And normally you want to freeze the crabs and kill them. Otherwise, if they reach her, they heal her and increase her damage. But for that last set of crabs that come out at 30%, you can save time by just freezing them and then trying to DPS maiden as fast as possible to kill her before the crabs become unfrozen. I don't care about trying to speedrun TOB, of course. I'm just happy to get the KCs in. And it took us a couple attempts to do this, but I think it was a fun little challenge for us. And I'm just having fun learning so many new things about TOB. Oh wow, a virtual defense level. I thought that was just like an NPC, that guy in the Inquisitors. Glizzy? It's just a guy in full <laughs> Inquisitors look like an NPC here. Speaking of, when did Glizzy like, become a name for a hot dog? Like, I noticed a bunch of people saying that. Uh, like a yeah, year I don't understand ago. that. I so think... wait, Glizzy just means hot dog? I think so. Yeah. Like, I think it means like a fast food hot dog, like a 7-Eleven one. Huh. It's just hot dogs in general. We sound like freaking boomers, like, discussing what memes are. Ooh, pizza. Yeah. That's Little Caesars. But... Whoa, I just did my double max hit. Oh my god. Holy. I've never... Wow. Ah. Okay, I'll tr I'll tr I'll try to do it. I think I think I know how it works. So I wait till she does her attack and then yeah, oh, hit her. Is it okay to just do one hit and then like run under? Yeah, well, you think that's sure. absolutely fine. Deathless basic. All right. Oh! Hey, cool. hey, it's for Puff. Oh, That's Puff. Good luck. Nice. Rewarded, rewarded. Okay. Again? Wow. <laughs> uh... That's hilarious. 
That's so sad. Kind of just in between some tabs right now, doing some crafting, and we have level 94. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good luck. Good luck. Oh, oh. oh shit, what the fuck? For Warden. <laughs> I don't like you getting them. Oh, that's for you, Puff. Dusty legs again. Imagine. I will, I will rage. I don't even know why I bother checking VIP, like I'm gonna get it with a whip. I will rage. I've got it with a whip. Alright, good luck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there is no way, dude. <laughs> what? Yo, it's kind of like a throwback to those three Elder Malls that you got. Oh my god. <gasps> Puff, you got something! Puff finally got a drop! <gasps> oh, Puff. Oh, Puff, no. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? Are you- Dude, what? No, dude, no! Set of three, <sighs> baby. <laughs> Elder Malls are worth more than this, even. <laughs> D. Back to back. Let's get the back that, to back. That deserves a purple. Hey! Oh, who's this? Oh, wow. Mine. Oh, oh. Down backwards, <laughs> MVP, alright. <laughs> nice. No milk in, no milk Good luck, good luck. Nice, all right, all right. nice. <laughs> no! Take that. Are we going for the back three back? There is a parallel universe where we just keep on doing top because we keep on getting purples over and over and we just can never stop because we have to go for the back to back over and over. There does exist a timeline where that happens. And I keep getting Elder Moles and Justy Lights. Back three back. We gotta get back Always back. lucky. Definitely Never not lucky. mine. <laughs> Never fucking lucky. Not even once. That. Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Dude, nice! Oh, fuck yeah! Congrats. Dude. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. I'm so stoked. Jesus Christ, that's a back three back. And technically, back three back. <laughs> Oh my god. 15 tops today. That is just a perfect happy ending to wrap it up. And that's completions. Were there wipes? Uh, yeah, there's at least one or two. Just doing my farm run and we have 93 farming. Well, I'm up to 21 top KC so far with nothing in my name. But in the raid data tracker plugin, you can see I have seen five drops and a pet now in the 21. 20, it says 22 because I did one entry mode top for the quest. But in 21 TOB KC, this is like a crazy amount of drops to see. It should be like every 9, 10, or even a bit rarer uh, to see one drop. So should have probably only seen about two. Next video, I'm going to continue on doing TOB because I feel like I really need to get a Vernic before I go do Slayer and other PVM because a Vernic helps with everything else, but there's not really much else I can get from other stuff that would really help with TOB. And because I want to get a Vernic eventually, I feel like it just kind of makes sense to do it in this order. And as you know, throughout this video, I've been crafting in my downtime, and the total crafting XP I gained in this video was about 2.3 mil XP, which is over 20 hours of crafting in my downtime. Um, but with that said, make sure to check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.